I got these all seam sealed up. You can see I tried to spray just the little spots as much as possible, but it's just kind of hard. That pattern on that weld through is pretty good. I mean, it goes out pretty good. Not like Krylon. Krylon is usually a small circle, which is good normally. But uh, anyway, yep. So thought I'd show you that real quick. This is ready to, well, as soon as this seam sealer kicks up. And I left the edges here, um, obviously, because I got to grind this back. And um, well, I grind off your seam sealer. So once I get it in there and welded, I've got the top off. I can come back in and seam seal those corners um, and anything else that needs to be seam sealed for that matter. So there you go. All right, just to give you an idea why the circles you can see those are pretty small well, the red ones but they they fit inside the, the red um, obviously yeah there you go so no catching on fire none of that kind of stuff happened inside and in between because i did that and you can see there where the penetration is burning off the the paint so all i have to do is go back with a brush and scuff that real quick or some scotch bright and just either take a little acid brush and paint back over it some epoxy or shoot it again which likely what i'll do is once i get this whole thing welded in and seam sealed up and everything i'll come back in and uh, shoot it again with uh, my little mini gun that i have i shot with a little iwata lph 80 this is a cool little gun. It's really nice for getting in in small. It's nice for getting in tight spaces. And so, yeah, I use that. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's, um, that's why I do the circles. Um, or grind it back about an inch because that's literally, uh, this thing's not. Not very good as far as inch. Well, I guess it is. So I'll give you an idea. So it's that that circle is about three quarters of an inch probably. And so I know I'm inside where I need to be as far as this goes. Um, and these some of these aren't centered because it doesn't matter on this side because all you need is bare metal. Um, hopefully those are centered a little better, but. Regardless, uh, that's how that works. So, um, overkill, oh yeah. Um, is it gonna work? Oh yeah. Um, so, there you go. See you guys. All right, now you can see how those circles burn back. Um, and I went in and scuffed up red scotch bright. Made pretty nice little circles. So now what I'll do, Take some of my leftover epoxy. Little brush. Let's go back over each one of these. So these bolts where I welded tacked or whatever. Or say bolts, nuts. They kind of get down underneath there too. So that should be it for that once that dries that'll be ready to weld in uh, for, for good and um, yeah that's that
All right, guys. Uh, I say acid, um, OSCO. Sprayed it all up inside here, let it run out. Uh, I've got some of it on the floor, but now I'll come back in with that uh, rust encapsulator and just soak the inside of that. I'll tape this edge off, put that up in there. That's because I can get down in there farther with that wand if I do it this way. Then come back up in here and weld that and then uh, come back and cover up, coat, coat all that. So that's what I'm doing there. I've cut out this side here because it needs to be done. And you can see, I, I'm actually pretty impressed with, with this side. Um, up in there, you can see where I welded that patch in there. It looks pretty good actually. And the uh, internal frame coating that I put in there actually did a pretty dang good job just for being blind and shooting it up in there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now I did go back in with my rust, uh, with this uh, needle scaler and just beat the crap out of all of this, trying to make sure I got everything back to the minimal rust as possible. Um, I'm hoping that I only have to cut out this smaller section with this you can see it's got a hole through it and uh, remake that section so I won't have to go way up in there that all looks pretty good really um, needs to be cleaned out better but for the most part and then I can also go in there with that internal frame coating shove it down in there as far as I can and make sure it's coating because I can see down in there really good same with this side here so that's that uh, so then I'm going to weld, hopefully today, weld these on underneath here. I've already got this prepped up, as you can see under there. And of course, these are prepped and ready for the sliders. So get those welded on, and, and oh, that's what I was going to say. The reason I'm doing it this way is because once you weld those on, it's going to burn back anything that's inside of there. It's gonna burn that back, burn the paint off or whatever's in there, that coating, and it's gonna to start to rust once it gets moisture in there. So, weld this on, run that wand up in there, soak it, spray it, and hopefully cover the weld as best as possible. I've got a camera where I can run up in there and make sure everything looks good. Um, and I've never shot that stuff, the uh, rust encapsulator before. So I'm not sure how thin it needs to be or how, I don't know, that, that wand is pretty big, but I don't want to waste it. I don't want it running all over the floor either. So I'm going to have to kind of dial it back and play with it and figure out what's a good uh, spray pattern for it to where I'm not getting too much. And then I'm, you know, but I'm adequately coating it. So uh, what else? That's it for now. Um, got one more coat of this, let it dry for a bit, and then I can get it set up to uh, weld it on and so I'll be welding all these little holes here and uh, then yeah I can come back in with my rust encapsulator and shoot the inside of the frame put that piece on get it up in there weld it on get this frame done on this side and then move to that side and that's that little piece in this there's a, a hole in the floor up here. Those are the only two things if I say that. I still have to make these pieces here. But other than that, that's pretty well it. So we're moving along. It's taken quite a while. But again, we didn't realize it was going to have this much uh, rust eating into the, the Jeep, so far into the Jeep. So all right, see you guys. All right, there's the inside of that. It's all prepped and ready to be welded in. You can see I do my weld through primer, just the areas that uh, I left bare metal. Um, so it's ready to go up under there. And that is ready for the slider. So everything's ready to weld on. I'm getting ready to weld that on. And uh, just thought I'd show you that before I put it in there. That way you can kind of get an idea 
of how I coat the inside of these instead of spreading the whole thing with weld through primer like I see a lot of people do on uh, YouTube or online uh, I like to coat it except for just the areas where I know it's gonna burn back and then that's just that's just how I do it it seems like there's a whole lot of area here that now I know is gonna be a lot harder or more resistant to rust um, than if I just sprayed the whole thing with the filter primer. So. I just sprayed, finished spraying the inside of that. I'll show you how this nozzle sprays out. Uh, hopefully that'll show that. This is lacquer thing. I'm running through it right now to clean that hose out. It worked pretty good except for I had to uh, thin the rust encapsulator with something called xylene. <clears throat> type of thinner, reducer type of deal. Um, I didn't have any, so I had to go pick some up. But uh, once I did that, it seemed to work pretty good. Now the cleaning process. You can see I've coated this. I sandblasted it. Uh, took it outside, sandblasted it. Then came back in and put that. Uh, uh, I'm thinking the name of it. Rust encapsulator. So that's what that is. Um, it sprayed out pretty nice. Uh, I didn't have to thin it at first, but then when I went and hit. It, used the wand stuck it down in there I had to thin that because after it, it activates once it hits air I guess and so just closing the lid back on the can uh, had about a half a can left after after uh, spraying that and so filled my wand deal up and Shot it up inside the frame. Frames, I should say. All the way, you can see here, it's ripped out the floor. But up in every orifice. Oh, I can't see. Anyway, it's black. Everywhere's black. You see black kind of dripping out of there. So I went ahead and shoved it in here, up through here, and ran it all the way down through the frame and made sure I concentrated on the back of these welds. So really the only thing I can do now is take my frame camera and go up inside there and make sure that everything looks coated. So I may do that. Um, but the next thing is, is to go ahead and get that piece of the frame there. I'll mount it up here and uh, weld it on. 
so you can see I went ahead and coated pretty much everything. Um, it looks way better. And uh, that rust encapsulator has something in it that uh, kills, converts the rust, whatever it does is Seems like the, everybody I talked to, or every time everything I read online was like, it's amazing. Uh, it laid down really good, and everything that it's got on so far, I can't hardly get it off. Like my skin does not want to come off. Uh, had it on the outside of the can, tried to use lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner was struggling taking it off. It, it comes off, but it's, it's legit, whatever it is. Anyway. So, all right, all right, that's welded in. I uh, did that. Knock those in, make sure all that fits. Bump stop bolts. Need to grind all this down, but I got baby girl in here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that yet. come through um, penetration from the back side of those um, I can't see up there but yep all new I'll seam seal all that uh, coat it and put this piece back on weld it in and then probably come back up inside and try to shoot something up in here to coat those welds as well so that'll be a little tricky but we'll figure something out so that's that for for now um what else like i said just ground this grind this down um then probably recoat you guys already seen what i did up in there so and then the uh frame stiffener will go over top of that so that'll work all right guys take care